Hi everyone, it's Belle. Wow, it's been so long since I posted here on YouTube. I just wanted to pop back in and say hi and see how you guys are all doing. I have been super duper busy with work. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys would know because I post a lot about my work on there. And a lot of you guys have actually not only shown interest in the aesthetic treatments that I do, but also in this career path. So you also want to pursue like medical aesthetics. I thought it would be pretty neat if I just kind of show you guys a glimpse of what I've been up to and maybe share with you some tips on how you can get your foot in the door if you are interested in medical aesthetics as well. <clears throat> so I hope you guys find this video somewhat helpful. I know you guys are always saying you miss my vlogs, so I'm gonna try to do it in vlog format for you guys. I'm gonna finish the rest of my breakfast and then head out to work and I'll take you guys along with me. All right, so I left the house. I am headed into work right now, but before that I need to drop off Mr. Pinko with my sister because she'll be watching him during the day. So I made it into work. Uh, first thing I like to do is check my schedule and then just go through the rooms and make sure everything is well stocked and ready for the day. Usually I check my IV room because I'm kind of OCD and I like to make sure that everything is stocked the way I like it. Yeah, this room looks okay. I spend a lot of time in this room actually. And I tend to use a lot of these insulin syringes or baby needles when I'm doing Botox, Dysport, or even when I'm doing like lip filler, I like to transfer it into the smaller one. So I'm just gonna make sure that I have enough that are ready for the day so I'm not having to like fill up stock during the middle of the day. I just have to prepare myself as much as I can. I think that should be good for today. Since my first patient is doing all therapy today, I'm just in here to make sure that all my transducers have enough lines in them and they're working properly. And I just like to prep so that when the patient's here, we can get started with numbing and whatnot. All therapy is a really great non-invasive face lifting, skin tightening treatment. I love recommending this for people who want to get started on some kind of anti-aging skin tightening treatment without doing anything invasive. I've been running around all morning. I thought today would be a good day to vlog, but it's surprisingly very busy. I haven't eaten lunch yet, so I'm starving. This morning was so busy. Mm. It's currently 2.51 in the afternoon. And I'm finally getting around to eating my lunch. This is usually when I'll like catch up on charting. Oh my God, I look crazy. 
ketchup on charting, things like that. While I eat my lunch, I'm going to try and answer some commonly asked questions by you guys. I get lots of like high school students, um, current nurses, nursing students, even current NPs, PAs, who are all very interested in also getting into aesthetics and you just don't really know how to start. First thing first, get your degree. Whether you choose the RN, NP, PA, MD route, you need to first have your degree. You need to be at least a registered nurse to be able to do any aesthetic treatments. A lot of you guys ask me what's the difference between like an RN versus an NP in this aesthetic world and truthfully there's not a huge difference. The services that we provide are pretty similar and there are many RNs who do amazing things in this field. The main difference that I can think of is that as an NP I'm able to do what's called a good faith exam and a good faith exam is basically just medical clearance for a patient to get a cosmetic procedure. This is legally required and so since an RN is unable to do that, a medical spa may prefer to hire an NP over an RN. However, this isn't always the case. For example, in like plastic surgery offices, because they already have the doctor there, they may prefer to hire an RN because the hourly pay would be lower. Once you have your degree, you definitely want to start investing in your education. Even if you don't have a job in aesthetics yet, you can always gain experience on your own by starting to educate yourself. So I brought some books to share with you guys. So these first two books are by Rebecca Small. It's called A Practical Guide to Dermal Filler Procedures, as well as Botulinum and Toxin Procedures. It starts by going over like basic um, anatomy and um, Botox reconstitution and different types of botulinum toxins. And it's a really great just introductory book. It, it goes over all the areas that you can inject neuromodulators as well as possible adverse events that can happen, where are your safety zones, things like that. It's a really good book to start out with. And same goes for the Dermal Filler Procedures book. Even if you don't have that job in aesthetics yet, if you just start out by educating yourself, you know, that that counts as experience too that you can write on your resume. This other book is called Facial Volumization. I would recommend this more for advanced injectors or people who have a little bit more experience, but this book is fantastic by um, Jerome Paul Lamb and Christopher Chase Zurich. You can get this off Amazon. After you get some sort of baseline knowledge, that's when I would recommend going to like a introductory weekend injector course. I did one with National Laser Institute, which I thought was fantastic. Another one I can highly recommend is Palette Resources. You can just Google Palette Resources and look up their beginner injector courses. These courses are taught by some of the nation's top, top injectors. So, and they have courses all over the country. So you can see you know, if they're ever in your area. Another thing I highly recommend is to always, always be on the lookout for opportunities. On the rare occasion, you might find a cosmetic clinic that wants to hire someone with zero experience. You wanna be aware of those opportunities when they arise. And the best way to do that is just to always be looking for jobs. I highly recommend you to search Job Snob or Indeed for daily postings of any job in aesthetics. Another thing I would highly recommend is to start training your aesthetic eye you know study people's faces and see what is it that makes them beautiful what do you think would improve their appearance what seems off balance what can you do to improve their balance and symmetry get very comfortable touching other people's faces learn to have a steady but gentle hand and the only reason why i mentioned this is because i've trained new injectors and i've seen new injectors and there's nothing more frightening than having someone come at you with a needle and they're like shaking like this. If you're able to somehow land a job and as they're training you, if, if they see that you have some sort of innate talent and you're easy to train, they're more likely to want to keep you. So. Okay, I think my last patient of the day is here, so I need to wrap up. But I just wanted to finish up by saying, do not give up be persistent. You probably won't get your dream job right away. You might have to work weekends. You might have to take a pay cut. You might have to lose some work benefits. But if this is the field that you genuinely are interested in and passionate about, 
then I truly believe that all those initial sacrifices are totally worth it because you will be rewarded with a job that you enjoy going to daily. And that's honestly how I feel. If you have a genuine passion for aesthetics and you're interested and you have a really good aesthetic eye and really serious talent, then there will always, always be room for you in this industry. The aesthetics industry is growing and will continue to grow. So don't give up, be persistent, and I wish you guys all good luck. I'm going to see my last patient of the day and then I'll be off. I think I have dinner plans later. So yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I tried my best to vlog on a really busy day. So anyways, yeah, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you can follow me there. I think that's about it. Let me know what kind of videos you wanna see next and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.